got Negroes today with no badge or no white skin or no white sheet or no white anything else. The police the same way. They put their club upside your head and then turn around and accuse you of attacking them. Every case of police brutality against a Negro follows the same pattern. They attack you, bust you all upside your mouth, and then take you to court and charge you with assault. What kind of democracy is that? What kind of uh, freedom is that? What kind of social or political system is it when a black man has no voice in court? There's no nothing on his side other than what the white man chooses to give. My brothers and sisters, we have to put a stop to this. And it will never be stopped until we stop it ourselves. They attack the victim. And then the criminal... I'd like to say sorry to the families of Ayanna Jones, Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, and I want to apologize to them for not being able to get justice for their loved ones who was murdered in cold blood. And in respect for the peaceful protest, I want to say hands up, don't shoot. Black Lives Matter. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I've decided to play this Malcolm X speech. Because what Malcolm, what brother Malcolm said, and, and uh, rest in power to this brother, what he said was facts, and still goes on today. How police officers beating up black men and black women, and yet when they go to court, they say they 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 try to attack them, but uh, I had no choice but to defend myself. Or look, it was, well, well, I fear for my life. This is what they always use, right? I fear for my life. So I have the right to defend myself. And see, it still goes on today. And the reason why, and I'm just, I'm just going to add what Brother Malcolm has said, that they're doing this because of qualified immunity. They know for a fact that when they go to court, they basically know that they're going to get, a, get acquitted or they will not even get indicted. Because of qualified immunity. See, when you have a criminal justice system, knowing that they protect one of their own, you know, like they basically will say, well, um, basically they will find false charges. Well, he had a gun or he had a knife. I don't have no choice but to defend myself. And sometimes... And I'm not saying all officers will do this because it's not that there's not all bad officers out there, but they would like to plant evidence, they like, like to plant a, plant a gun or a knife to make it look like, oh, see, look, look the victim try to get the, the suspect try to get a knife or a gun try to do something to me. I I fear for my life, so I had no choice but to shoot. Look what's going on with so many cases, right? And some of the, even if the officers were get convicted. It would not be a. It, it might not even be like football type contract sentences. They only get what a slap on the wrist, maybe three or four years in jail, uh, pay pay a lot of fine, and that is that basically it. And sometimes it's really, and they, then they try to say it's manslaughter. They never use first or second degree murder. It's always been manslaughter, first or second degree manslaughter, not murder. But see, they like to cover up stuff. And a lot of people say, well, what's going on with the police reform, blah, 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 blah. But even if that were, if, even if that were the case, the police reform might not even work because they're going to be some loop, loopholes on get away with stuff. That's why they need to end qualified immunity. That way they'll stop cops from even get away with stuff. They would be convicted just like everybody else. But they're not going to do that. Even the president, Joe Biden, would not stop or would not do that. Because I guarantee you, if they end qualified immunity, these officers that got away with murder for so many years will be convicted like everybody else. They will be doing um, football type years, like football type, like 20, 30, 40, 60 years in prison, like everybody else. But they're not doing that. It's like doing what's right. And the same tactics they did 
when Malcolm X's time, it's happening again. It's happening today. It never ever changes. This is this is why it's so important for people to understand. The only way these officers will stop doing this is to, to try to stop called in qualified immunity. Because once they in qualified immunity, these officers they know that they, they're watching them too. The government watching them too, and they go to make sure if you assaulted this man. Illegally, you will be serving some time like everybody else. But again, you know that you know the president. A lot of politicians will not allow that to happen because they love officers. Some love pro, most of our pro pro police. Some of our politicians are. They say that well, we got a right to get get criminals off the streets and blah blah blah. But if they do this illegally, I guarantee you they're gonna continue doing this illegal. That's why you see a lot of police officers are out now. Or if they do serve time, it won't be it won't be long, because they love to protect police officers. They love to protect law enforcement officers. Now there are some now, now I'm, there are some good cops out there, so I'm not going to say all cops are bad. There are some good cops, and they. But then the thing of it is, is that you know if the, the cop is bad, why are you protecting them? Why? But then their life will be in danger. So. It's a it's a complicated situation, but I just want to let everybody else know about the Malcolm X video, which is so true, that you know when police officers knew they going police officers attacking you, or attacking a person you know, and making it look like he coming after them, or look, look at the for example, look at the Mike Brown situation. No, how, this is a, as I'm telling you, telling you everything what Malcolm X said, you know, till this day is still facts. When they claiming that Michael Brown come after um the uh, after Darren Wilson, right? He charged the man like he was going to we want to come after him and fight, try to fight his gun and shot him in self defense. But realistically, witnesses say that's not even happened. But that's what that, that that's what they want them to think and still think. So I just want to bring up the video to let you guys know about you know the Malcolm how Malcolm X affects people it affects me a lot and it shows you that the the message that he's saying in the speech that he does speak truth to power and speaking facts this is one of them about how police officers do how they got away with it. they still get away with it today y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments and i'll talk to you in my next video this is lane's den signing off deuces